from the National Pass. This helicopter shot is absurd. <laughs> uh, trade deadline still weeks away, but teams are already making moves. Jets, Bills, Vikings, the Lions are looking around for an edge rusher. How about the Cowboys? Well, no thank you, says Jerry Jones, telling the Athletic that he's not thinking of making changes to the coaching staff or personnel. Uh, Brewer, are you okay with the Cowboys standing pat? No. Now, I, I get the sentiment of they're not winning anything anyway, so go out and get whoever. It's not going to make that much of a difference. But you just paid your quarterback $60 million a year. You just paid your wide receiver, th what, $35 million a year. You got to try to make the team better. And Nick's going to be mad because I've been saying it all year. Go get Tony Pollard. How are you He's not Tony available. They're one in four. <laughs> they need to have a house cleaning out. They, you know what? Coach, they went and got all these guys to see what Will Levis was. Well, we know what Will Levis is, all right? So now Bro, let the, them, set them free. They're doing set a fire them free. Sale. Uh, well, I, 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 I go just, get a running back because okay. they got the worst run right. game in the league. Okay. And then three and a half yards a carry, so 77 yards a game. Go get somebody to run the Nobody saw that coming. Like, and this is the problem is when owner Jerry Jones says, uh, GM Jerry Jones, what do you think of the talent? I think they're outstanding. I think they're fantastic. <laughs> right. Oh, you do? Yeah, I, I think they're really good. Oh, so it's probably got to be coaching, right? Yeah, it must be. Do we need to make any changes? No, I, I, we're, we're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's the issue. There's no, there's no give and take, and if you're responsible for bringing the players in and they're not working, you, you've got you've to have the willingness to, to, to put the blame on yourself, Ooh. which is a very hard thing. I think for him to do right now, and we saw that even at the end of last year, he feels this team is really good, and they're underachieving. Not that they're not talented, and 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 achieving Oof. at their level. Unpopular take here. It would be absurd for the Cowboys to trade anything of substance for a, the caliber of player that is available during the season. It would not be a smart move. Because the Cowboys aren't a Super Bowl caliber team. What? I still think they can. I still think they'll win the division. You think they go, really? I do. Oh, I, I do. I still think they'll win the division. But that's really just because I think Philly is awful. It, it awful's too strong. I think Philly is in d disarray, and I think the defense is and bad, and the coach Washington is going to get fired. I just. I think Washington is. Their defense is going to catch up with them, and I think the rookie wall will be a thing. I think Washington's good. I just think Dallas is going to. If end up Dallas the can get into but the playoffs, I mean, if they get into I, the playoffs in the NFC, I, you don't give them a shot. I just—it's not the, here. What I think is this: I think mid-season trades for veteran players that are on expiring contracts, which is really what most mid-season trades are. Like the the Chiefs trade for Kadarius Tony a couple years ago was a like a unique one. That was a first round pick on a rookie contract with sure. multiple years left. That's usually now it's usually Amari Cooper, veteran player, you know what I mean for yeah. tw it's 12 game rental. Devontae Adams, who I think is a rental, he has 35 million on his contract for next year. Most people think that's not getting picked up. I just think those are Short-term thinking moves. That if, when, but you can take, like Odell got him to the next level. Right. That if you but are. they're not even there. Right. Exact, exactly right. Okay. That, you that, realize how old Jerry is, right? So I don't think that's a problem either because I think, so Jer I think Jerry. I long-term thinking. I, yeah, I don't think. I, I, I don't think Jerry Jones is the type of person that thinks. he. I, I, I bet Jerry thinks he's going to live for a very, very, very long time. Which he should. Good for him on that regard. I don't think he, I don't think Jerry Jones looks at it like, man, I only have a few years left owning the Cowboys. I don't think that's his mentality. I don't think it's ever his mentality. I just think it would be if the Lions right now were like, you know what? We're going to trade because there's a void from Aiden Hutchinson. Yeah. We think that and we are going to sacrifice some draft capital in the future. I fully support that. The Cowboys, when they have... How many holes do the Cowboys have, Brew? To your point, oh, the wait, offensive wait. line has holes. The, they, they need running you... backs. They need wide receivers. What you need is cost-controlled young players through the draft. So trading a real draft pick to go get one of these guys, to me, is not smart business for the Cowboys. But the I'm amount of holes that you see is not the what Jerry sees. Jerry doesn't see a team full of holes. Jerry seems, sees a team that's extremely talented and can compete on the highest level and 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 – he, I, I would anticipate him wanting to improve it, but because he feels it's so talented, he doesn't feel the need to improve it. So just to Bruce's point, I don't think Tony Pollard is available, but to Bruce's larger point, 
Do you view their lack of a running game as a running back problem or a offensive line problem? It uh, starts with a running back problem. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the guys that they have there, there's just there's just not left. There's not a lot of explosiveness there. But that was a problem going into the season. Again, if you view it differently and you feel your room is strong, it's a matter of opinion. I, I didn't feel it was very strong, and I think it's playing out that way. But it also, I think, Brew, you would agree, S using even just a mid, you know, a fourth round pick mid season to get a veteran, you know, to get yeah, I wouldn't want that, to, give up to a get that, pick, you know, but. to get a mid level running back in this league is such a wild. Yeah. Use of resources. You know what? When you see have the Braille really and Ale really Allen really for the Jets was a fourth round pick, they're going to have him for no money for the next. Uh, Nick Sirianni beat the Browns, yelled at his own fans, said he yelled at his own fans because his players asked him to show more passion, and then he apologized for the passion, which caused him to yell at his own fans. So that's where we're at. Uh, for Nick Sirianni and the Eagles, here's his record against the NFC East. Pretty good. Uh, must win, Eagles at Giants. Yeah, definitely a must win. Uh, Sirianni's just kind of lost. We wouldn't have been surprised if he had actually gotten fired off that win. Yeah. So it's still out there. We saw it happen, obviously, with the Jets. If they beat Pittsburgh, coach, maybe the coaches, you know, or the people up in Philadelphia are like, hey, we could fire our guy middle of the season, too. They have, look, I, Nick and I disagree. Offensively, particularly, they got a lot of talent. They're one of the most talented offenses in the league. Offensive line is sure. great. Saquon Barkley's great. Both receivers are great. Even if Jalen Hurts, Hurts isn't great, he's still got a ton of weapons to work with. So Sirianni needs to get this done and win this game. So it's absolutely a must win. But that's why, Brew, it's such an indictment that they have zero first quarter points this year. Now, I understand they were missing those two receivers for a couple games. I get that. But to have that, that much talent and to be the worst first quarter team in the league offensively. And it's a franchise you, record for, for first quarters where they haven't scored. Exactly right. And you feel like that is, a, you know, a coaching issue. When Nick Sirianni is your offensive mastermind, but we don't really know what he does in any. Like, we still don't really know what Nick Sirianni does. Because he doesn't call the offense, he doesn't call the defense. He does yell at the fans, but he's not supposed to do that. He does have press conferences that he apologizes for. And so they looked unprepared and bad coming off the bye. If then you play the Giants, who we just saw, despite treating every drive like it was four down territory, couldn't get to double digits mm -hmm. against the woeful Bengals defense, and now the Giant, that Giants team, by the way, is without the best player on their team, arguably the left tackle, Andrew Thomas. If you were to lose that game, I do think he'd be fired. Ooh, I think the right. crowd's going to be a lot nicer at, at MetLife than it would be in Philly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's going to get a warmer reception there than he would have at home. All right, uh, final one. We're going to go back across the pond. Uh, Talk about Trevor Lawrence facing Drake May in his second start. A Sunday morning in London. Trevor has one win in his last 11 starts. Doug, another way, he also has one win in his last two starts. Would be another way to put that. That's true. Yeah. Um, Doug Peterson said the Jags need a culture change. He is the coach of the Jags. <laughs> uh, Trevor this season was good against the Colts. The other teams, not so much. So for Trevor. <laughs> Must lose. <laughs> What? Must what? Lose. Here we go. Oh, you got it. You got it. You, 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 you got to rip the thing out, root and stem. Balky's got to be gone. Dougie P's got to be gone. You have to, in order to salvage the Brents, they need to have a true season from hell and start from scratch. So nothing like. But he, he's immune to it. Here, well, you, what, listen again. Season. We oh, can look at Mac Jones. The um, <laughs> whether he should be or not, he is because they gave him that contract. Definitively, next year they're a quarterback. You, yeah. I don't want to argue with you about Mac Jones yeah. right now, but I'm just saying. And I want. I am now. I'm on to next year. I'm like that. I'm on to next year for the Jags, and I think the best way to get there is if they lose this game, Doug Peterson's gone. So that's the first step. Trent and I. By the way, I don't even think. 
Peterson's as big of a problem as Balky, who Balky somehow won a power struggle with Jim Harbaugh, torched that thing, and now has done this in Jacksonville. I've never, I've never understood the, the, 